You know, I'm Challenger, I have no life, and I'm Asian, so I probably can get rank 1. Previously on Pets Are Dragon, super awesome rank 1. You know he's 1100 LP, but now he isn't. Let's get it right into it. Alright, so the rank 1 Draven aka Hums has been doing this new build where he's been going Mad Immune, Ghostblade, essentially Lethality Draven, you know, like Lethality Barris, and you don't see in his match history any more Bloodthirster Infinity Edge. You just see Mad Immune, so... For the first time ever, we're going to see why he does this build because this definitely has a lot of questions to be answered and really doesn't make sense. It's not, you know, it's not like an AD carry, but well, I guess other AD carries have been doing it, but yeah, obviously, you know, you know, always thought that Bloodthirst and Infinity Edge was the deal, but I guess there's something new about this sick ass build that we're seeing here. So let's get right into the call and see what he has to say. My ears hurt. Hello? Hello, Mr. Hums, if that is your real name. Mr. Rank 1 Draven Worldwide. How are you today? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Do you notice I'm doing my YouTube voice instead of my real voice? Yes. Oh. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. Mr. Rank 1 Draven Worldwide, or Mr. Worldwide, um, why do you do this Mad Immune build into Lethality? Um, what I'm seeing here is on your recent game, you went Man Immune into Ghostblade, straight into Lord Dominix, not even going Dustblade or Edge of Night on Hums yesterday with me. But um, yeah, why are you doing this build and why did you buy Elixir of Wrath at 20 minutes, 23 minutes, and 26 minutes? Oh, wait, you're okay. a full build. You're a full build. <laughs> I was already full build by like 20 minutes, I think. Okay. So the reason why I go this build is because it's very cheap to buy compared to crit items and it does more damage at all times of the game, mm -hmm. except early game, but it's guaranteed damage compared to crit. Crit is like, you have to rely on like RNG yeah. and uh, lethality is just like always the same damage. And it does, you can literally two shot people all the fucking time. Once you get uh, Muramana and like uh, Ghost Blade is almost every game first, then you would go LDR depending on if they have a lot of armor. Mm -hmm. And or, then you would, if they don't have a lot of armor and they're like very squishy, you would go Duskblade. But if they have a lot of CC, then you would go Edge of Night after Ghostblade. Okay. And then within within those, like within those pattern, like if they have a uh, tanks, you go LDR, squishy, Dusk, CC, Edge of Night. And then depending on what they have, depending on their team comp, that's what you build. And then those are the main core items. But first you would go Man Immune, then you would go Berserker. Then you go Ghostblade, and then depending on what they have, there you go. But you're lacking some lifesteal in this build, right? So like, does that really matter when you're playing Draven? Like you're you not have... really, you're not really gonna lack lifesteal in this build because you you run Bloodline in this build. Like a lot of people, they usually go Sanguine Blade. Like I got this idea from Vincent Draven. He's a he's a Chinese Chi Draven mate. Isn't that Tao? Tao? Is his name Tao or something? Ch I Tai? I honestly don't even know, but one of my one of my viewers told me about it, and I tried it in game, and it seemed it seemed very troll at, at first because Man Immune is like a it's it's mana, and I don't really need mana on Draven. That's what I thought, but then once I realized when I played it is that I had infinite amount of mana. So in lane phase, you're lacking damage, but at the same time, you can spam W like the whole lane phase, and then at late game you get like 80 AD at like with a cheap item. It's like very cheap compared to crit items. I see. Do you go press the attack every game or do you ever go like Conqueror? What happened to Conqueror? Conqueror, I tried it the first game. It just didn't seem right because when you um run Conqueror, you're gonna basically look for long fights, but with PTA, you're looking for a short fight. But when I tried it for Conqueror in my other game, you didn't really fight for long. You just yeah. two-shotted them every single time. And if anything, at most three-shotted them. So it's like, Halo Blades would probably be the best, but the thing is, their tree line is just really, really bad. Oh, yeah. Halo Blades? Okay, tried so it? somebody is telling me that Muramana passive is amp with lethality. My bad, I was wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. So it does amp with lethality. Yeah, it's kind of OP. Okay. So this this build is like 100% better than the Bloodthirst Infinity Edge. 100,000%. Just because you, you power spike so much. Just earlier. because it's so cheap and because it does even more damage. It does a lot more damage. Mm hmm. Would you even do this if you're, say, against, like, a Zac, a, 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 yes. a Orn so top? I have not. Here's the downfall on my on my end. Like, I have not tried it against, like, a 
three tank team or like a four tank team, you know? But someone actually did and they said that it's really good against them as well if you run LDR early. That's why I'm not sure, but I'm gonna take their word on that because it still does a lot of damage. Hmm, so that's I'm not true. Sure. I mean, your Q can't really crit, right? So I guess it does make sense because your Q is most of your damage and if you can juggle the like five axes, you're just doing like 500 percent bonus damage off your axes, right? And then that yep. doesn't scale with crit. So that'll make sense. Yep. All right, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Rank One Draven Worldwide, uh, where can we catch you at? Socials, give me your Twitters. Give me your. My Twitter is H U M Z H L O L, and that's Hums L O L. And my Twitch is just Hums. That's about it. I don't have a YouTube or anything. Maybe soon to come. All right, sweet. Thank you very much. Uh, let's just get right into these games then. All right, let's go. All right, peace. Fucking 3v3, baby. That's fucking 3v3. I'm just too clean. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, he wants the element test. Ah, uh, whatever. What the fuck? I don't understand. Why can't he do this shit? I don't understand. What the fuck is this? Like, do I even have to go bot? I mean, I probably should. Where you going? Where you going, bitch? Where you going, bitch? You know who it is? Oh, okay, 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 never mind. I fucking. Dude, my e flash E's are so bad, I don't know. Oh my god, I no mana. I can't. Oh my gosh.
This is so dumb. That is so dumb. Back it up. died. How the fuck did I die? I don't have armor. I'm stupid, actually. Oh. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Whatever. Understand. How the fuck do I die there?
Alright, let's go. Wait, we got Baron? Imagine if I came with you guys! I'm two five, uh, two, 25 IQ. I'm 25 IQ, baby. Alright. That was good. Fine, actually. Just dragon reset. That first tower gold. Ah, uh, that's so bad. And... Fucking hell. Sucks. I need a play with my mid, but I don't know. Get the money. Gosh. Oh, this is so hard. No, why are they fighting like this?
cancer actually. I miss Cocoon. I'm playing so bad. Noise! Noise! We back in there! Alright, I, I I made so many mistakes this game, but it's fine. Already, guys, we just got our LP back from a disgusting day that we had yesterday. So thank you for watching. My hair looks like shit. Now it looks better because it's sticking up. So watching rank 16, passing general sniper. Damn. We out here. 40 uh, 39 net wins. And 50 losses. That's actually pretty good, pretty good. If I get 11 more wins. You ain't cool. No, I lied. Alright, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.